Hey guys, today I'm going to tackle the topic of film emulation in both After Effects and Premiere Pro. So right here I have a shot from my short film Night Shift that I was uh, inspired by a YouTube uh, tutorial by this guy right here, Rack Productions. Uh, he has everything I have uh, learned about this film emulation topic is from this video and I'm just essentially taking this and bringing it into After Effects and Premiere Pro. So everything that I have learned I've taken from this uh, tutorial right here. So please if you have time go check it out because it's great for uh, if you are using a uh, DaVinci Resolve workflow. So check these guys out. All right so basically what's going to happen is we're going to take our footage create a new pre-comp with it. So this was shot at ProRes with the uh, Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K camera. So I'm going to pre-compose this because I want to add film grain to it first. So I'm just going to call it film grain. And then inside of here, I'm going to add an adjustment layer and add Film Convert Pro. Now you can use Film Convert, you can just use add grain and then have it match uh, your project. Actually, I don't need this to 32-bit, I can have it at 16-bit. Uh, so you can use this, add grain however much you like, make it monochromatic, you can turn down the saturation, do whatever you like. You can do that without buying Film Convert, but from now on I'm actually going to use Film Convert because its uh, grain algorithms are really nice, and I have it, so. So I'm going to select my camera that I have, Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K, ProRes Film, Apply, and I'm actually going to remove the film color and the grain, and the curve, and all we want is the noise. All of that, all of that beautiful grain. And then I'm going to make this super 16 millimeter. You can make it, 35 millimeter, whatever one you want. I'm just gonna go with the Super 16 mil look today. All right, so that's step one. Step two is going back into this comp and we're going to do a couple of things. I'm going to duplicate the comp, so Control D, and then I'm going to add Cineon Converter. And we're gonna go from uh, log to linear. Now, a couple things we need to adjust, which is the black point take that to zero, take this to, uh, I'm sorry, 1000, I believe, yep. And then I'm going to add a curves adjustment, take the highlights and crush them all the way down. I'm going to add a little notch right there and then increase this up so we can see the highlights. If you keep going, it'll blow it out, but we can just do, leave it about right there. So now we have a perfect view of the highlights of this uh, comp. So you can see it's singled out this area, boom. And so the next step we're going to do is add a channel blur so that we can go in and blur the red. And if you look in here, you can see it takes the red and it expands it out and that will give you that beautiful film halation, which is exactly what you want. So once I do that, that might be a little too much, and then I'm going to set this to add. And now if you look in here, in the highlights next to the uh, slate, you can see beautiful red film halation. Now you can go in here if you want to increase the uh, amount of red, you can crank this up if you want to increase the spread, you can crank the blurriness up, but I'm gonna keep it somewhere right there just to make it look nice. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is probably just add an adjustment layer, add the Film Convert plugin back on top. I'm gonna to go back to my Blackmagic Design, ProRes Film, and in this one, I'm going to remove the grain I'm going to go in and dial in the film look that I want. 
I think that one looks really nice. And so now we went from this shot right here, very clean, very nice uh, digital acquisition to a gorgeous, almost uh, 16 mil lookalike. Now, if you wanna keep going, you can uh, crush the blacks a little bit with some levels adjustment. You can bring that up and then we can clamp those highlights. Just keep pushing this image until it looks a little flat. Probably gonna add some more saturation to it. And that looks great. You've got your film halation that sticks to the shot. And it goes throughout. Let's see, we might even want to Increase this just a little bit. You get your film halation and there you go. So the next step is to do this in Premiere Pro. So I'm gonna save that. I'm actually gonna to go to Premiere Pro and the process is very similar, just slightly different. So I'm gonna take this shot that we have and I'm going to uh, unlink copy and paste. I'm just gonna bring it right above, just like we did in After Effects. So I'm going to go here. Uh, we need Cineon Converter. Let's go to our effects controls. Uh, I believe it was log to linear. to zero, take that to 1000. Then we're gonna add curves. Audio. RGB curves. I do the same thing where I crush it down, add a little notch right there, and we're trying to just get the highlights. So you can boost that up. And then finally, I'm going to add channel blur. And there we can blur the red channel. And then we're probably gonna to want to repeat the edge pixel so that it doesn't uh, clip too much, or not clip, but get a weird fringe on the edges of the frame. Okay, and now our last step is to set this to screen. And so now, if we look in here, we can see nice red film halation right there. We can turn it off and you can see it's beautiful. Now we can go back in and do the, uh, add the film convert. Black magic. Take away the curves, super 16. And up here, yeah, we could do something like that. If you wanna still do that. And then you can go in and add your adjustment layer and create, uh, keep going with your adjustments, so levels can crush that down, um, I'll put something like that. And then we can add in our saturation. And then we can increase our saturation a bit. Uh, boom. I haven't used Premiere in a while. Yeah. And then there you go. So we still maintain great halation right there on the edges. We have great 
grain, crushing the levels to make it more accurate, and increase the saturation. All right, thank you so much for checking out uh, this video. Once again, if you want to see this process in DaVinci Resolve, which is where I learned how to do this, check out this channel, Rack Productions Film Halation Tutorial V2. All right, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time.